What is up, bookworms and constant readers? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the October book haul and update. So to begin, let's start with uh, the October update. Um, how's the channel doing? Uh, not great. Uh, not getting a lot of views. Uh, not getting a lot of subscribers. Uh, I think I've been at four subscribers now for like a month. Um, there's really nothing I can do about that. Uh, I know that it has to do with content. Uh, I don't have that much content available right now. Um, so I know that's hurting the channel. Uh, and I'm also doing uh, just one book right now, which is uh, the Witcher series. And so that could be hurting the channel. Um, Hopefully, as I get more uh, of these videos out there, uh, that'll all change and traffic will pick up and I'll be talking to more of you. Um, but if you are subscribed to this channel and you do watch my videos, uh, thank you for doing so. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, not much happened last week. Uh, it was Halloween. I uh, really didn't do much. Uh, just kind of laid around and watched movies all day and all night. Uh, did a uh, Friday the 13th uh, marathon during the day. We watched uh, the first first four uh, Friday the 13th movies. Um, and then that night we watched uh, the uh, Ghost Nation uh, two hour thing they did. And that was pretty uneventful. Um, that was really disappointing. Uh, then we, uh, we watched the Destination Fear show and it was the same thing. It was pretty disappointing. And after that, uh, we watched some more scary movies. Uh, we watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, the remake. Uh, I forget when that came out. But it's the one with, uh, Arlie Ermey in it. Um. Then we did, uh, what else did we do? Uh, Jeepers Creepers uh, 1 and 2. Those are always fun. And then the original Carrie, um, which to me is the only version you should watch. The, uh, the remake is just, it's total garbage. Um, not much else is going on. I uh, really haven't got into uh, any new uh, TV shows. Um, movies are kind of like uh, non-existent right now. Um, me personally, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't go to a theater to watch a movie. So if it doesn't come out on uh, on Blu-ray or you know on demand, I'm not seeing it. Um, but yeah, that's about uh, that's about it for updates. Um, what am I reading? Uh, I am still on uh, A Time of Contempt, which is The Witcher Book 4. Um, I should have that done uh, sometime this week. I only have, I think, like 100 pages left. So it might be today or tomorrow. And I'll finish that, and then I'll put a video out on that. Um, it's election day today. If so, if you're watching this and the polls are still open, go vote. Um, and I'm still reading uh, Stephen King's uh, Black House. Uh, well, Stephen King and Peter Straub's Black House, uh, the sequel to The Talisman. I'm on page like four, I think 420, and it's got uh, 600 and something. So I have a ways to go on that one. Um, I'm trying to finish up my uh, Stephen King read through so I can start putting some Stephen King books on the channel because just about every video I talk about he how he's my favorite author but I haven't put anything out uh, pertaining to him and um, I really want to do like a read through in uh, chronological order for that uh, so yeah that's uh, that's about it as far as update goes and what I'm doing uh, Nothing really to talk about video game wise. Uh, 
I got uh, Star Wars Squadrons. I haven't played it yet. Um, and then I also bought a Ghost of uh, Tsushima, I think it's, it's called. That one's pretty decent. I haven't played a lot of it. Um, I think I've played maybe five hours. Um, getting towards the end of the semester, schoolwork's getting a little bit lighter. So that's opening up a little bit more free time. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, I'm uh, also thinking about uh, what to do uh, with this channel. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to generate more views, more subscribers. Um, I know I need more books. Um, that's really not, uh, really not possible right now because uh, I try not to read more than two books at once. Uh, that way I devote um, two hours a day to reading, one hour for each book. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out how to get more book reviews uh, on the channel. For different uh, people out in YouTube to watch and discover me and grow this channel. So that's pretty much all I got for uh, the update. Um, the rest of this video is going to be uh, my October book haul. Um, I did a total of 18 books. I think it was 18. Two of those I don't have in here. Uh, they were not planned buys. Uh, both of them were on my uh, TBR list, but for like way later. Um, and that is uh, Pictures of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Uh, I picked up this really nice uh, soft cover uh, leather bound copy of that. It's a uh, purple leather. Uh, you know, it's got the inlays and stuff. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen some of those. Um, I did Dracula, uh, Tale of Two Cities, and I think Frankenstein. Um, they're like 10 bucks. You can get them at uh, Barnes & Noble. As far as I know, that's the only place you can get them. Um, really nice copies. And considering, like, the, uh, the regular paperback of uh, Dorian Gray was... Uh, like fifteen dollars and this was ten bucks and it was a much nicer looking book um, and then the other one was uh, Anne Frank Diary of a Young Girl um, I had to buy both of those for my daughter because she needs to read them for school and since libraries aren't open right now um, and the school's not providing these books I had to go out and buy them she actually had to read uh, four books two of them I had uh, one was 1984 by George Orwell and Becoming by uh, Michelle Obama. So those are the two that uh, will not be shown. Um, I finally finished uh, the Malazan series. I got the last, uh, the last three books here. I got... Uh, Dust of Dreams, and I got uh, Toll of the Hounds, and then The Crippled God. Um, it'll probably be next year before I start uh, Malazan and these books are so thick and so long that uh, I will have notes for those so I don't forget anything. Um, it seems like they get thicker as the series goes along. Um, and they'll probably be the only thing that I read. I'll devote two hours a day to reading those or it will take me forever to get through these because like the crippled god is let's see yeah it's like 1200 pages and there's a couple that I think one is like 1300 one is like 1400 um, the first one I think is the shortest it's like 600 something pages so yeah they're they're pretty long winded um, moving on I got uh, two more 
of the Jack Reacher books. Um, I've talked about this before on the channel that I do plan on reading uh, the Jack Reacher series. Uh, it's always interests me. I like the movies, um, but I've never read the books. Um, so I got Tripwire, which is, I believe, book three. And then I got uh, Running Blind and uh, Running Blind is book four, but uh, it was uh, named something totally different in England. I cannot, cannot remember uh, what it was called in England, but I had been looking for the English title here in the States and I couldn't find it and I was like, why can't I find this book anywhere? And then I started investigating and realized that the local bookstore had it. It's just called uh, Running Blind. So I got those. Um, another series I'm trying to complete, I got this used copy off of eBay. I've talked about this before. Um, these are Brian Lum Lumley's Necroscope books. Um, this one is Blood Brothers. Um, like I've talked about before, they are hard hard to find. Uh, I don't think they're in print anymore. I think you can get them on Kindle. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, but if you want like a physical copy, um, they can be pretty pretty pricey. I've been I've been paying around ten to fifteen dollars per book. Um, I'm trying to get all of them. Uh, to me, it is like the greatest vampire story ever. Uh, there's, I want to say like 14 or 15 books in the series. Um, I'm about halfway through. Uh, another series I'm trying to get, uh, Say What You Will. Um, I really like this series. Uh, I plan on uh, reading the whole thing, uh, putting it on the channel. Um, all of these books will eventually be on the channel is uh, Shalane Harris and the Suki Stackhouse books. This one is uh, Dead to the World. Um, I watched uh, True Blood religiously and it wasn't until after I started watching True Blood that I learned that the show was based on books. I've never read the books. Uh, my wife has read, I think, most of the books. And she really liked it. Um, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, next is the next Stephen King book I'll be reading after Black House. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it. Uh, I need to make my Stephen King uh, video. Um to explain a lot of this stuff. Uh, I already have this in a hardback, but I don't read my Stephen King hardbacks. Um, so I got the uh, paperback of From a Buick 8. That'll be uh, next on Stephen King's read list. I've got, I think, 30 more books and I'm done with my personal read through uh, which if I ever get around to doing the Stephen King video you'll understand what that is. Um, next was a book that uh, it was recommended by Stephen King and I know a couple people that have read this book. I've never seen a booktuber review it but I heard this book is messed up. It's uh, The Chain by Adrian McKinty. And I don't know if you would call this a horror or a thriller. And there there is a difference. Um, I could probably make a make a short video on that too. Um, but the premise of this book is there's an organization and uh, they make people do things that they normally wouldn't do and with this is uh, your kid comes up missing and you will get a uh, phone call from whoever kidnapped them saying you know you pay this ransom and 
you get your kid back, but there's a condition. You have to kidnap somebody else's kid. And I've heard that this book is just one hell of a ride, that it is incredibly written, that there are some parts in here that you're just like, wow. And it's, uh, it's one of those books like, what would you do to get your kid back? And uh, just reading the back of this, it says, uh, you dropped off your child at the bus stop. A panicked stranger calls your phone. Your child has been kidnapped. The stranger then explains that their child has also been kidnapped by a completely different stranger. The only way to get your child back is to kidnap another child. And most important, the stranger explains, if you don't kidnap a child, or if the next parent doesn't kidnap a child, your child will be murdered. You are now a part of the chain. Does that sound like a holy shit or what? Can I wait to read that book? Um, the next three, uh, I am finishing slowly but surely. I think I have five more books left. Um, the original Ian Fleming, James Bond, 007 books. Um, every time I place an Amazon order, I'm ordering one of these. Um, everybody tells me that they change the sets quite often. So I'm trying to finish the set before they change it and my covers don't match anymore. Um, I've never read any of the James Bond books. I'm a huge James Bond fan. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading these. Um, but I picked up Goldfinger. And they're all black and white on the spine. With the author's name and title. Little 007. Um, for Your Eyes Only. And then Thunderball. And I don't know if you notice in my videos, but they're all up here. They might be just out of camera shot. Another series I finished that I cannot wait to read is uh, the sequel to uh, The Faithful and the Fallen um, of Blood and Bone. I got book two, A Time of Blood. These are amazing covers. And then I got A Time of Courage. And again, these are incredible covers. I love these covers. And then the last two books that I got, uh, one I'm actually reading. I know I said I, I don't like to read more than two books. This is kind of just, if it takes me two years to finish it, I'm not in a hurry to finish it. Um, I read it when I don't feel like getting into a like 50 or 60 page uh, chapter of like a Witcher book or um, I don't feel like uh, you know getting into a full chapter of whatever Stephen King book I'm reading. Um, these are uh, really short, easy to read. Um, Again, these are Barnes & Noble exclusives. Hardback, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And look at this cover. It is just incredible. You got silver leaf pages, cloth bookmark, and I'm not a huge poetry fan. Um, I've uh, never read anything but two uh, Edgar Allan Poe's. Um, and they were all for school. I read The Raven, which I think everybody's read, and uh, The Mask of the Red Death. Um, I don't remember The Mask of the Red Death. It's been so long. 
And this book actually starts out with the poems, which they're, they're quick reads. Um, I'm not really big into reading poetry, though. I just, I don't get poetry. Um, I had to read some in school, like Robert Frost and uh, a couple of different poets. I never really was into poetry, so I'm not going to talk about uh, Poe's poetry. Um, I will say in this video, it's not all doom and gloom like uh, he's known for. His poetry, um, I'm almost through all the poetry and getting ready to start on the actual stories. Um, they're, they're like a lot of poetry. They're about love, um, beautiful things. Uh, very, very little of it has to do with like death or or ghosts or spirits or, or any kind of supernatural horror type theme. A lot of them are just regular regular poems. Usually they're about a, a girl that he he loves or longs for. Um, but yeah, they uh, they're just normal poetry. Um, there's one uh, drama in here that was never published, and it's written out kind of like uh, in play form. Uh, but the rest are all of his uh, his short stories and stuff, which are pretty easy reads, I think. And then the last book, we'll wrap up this video, is another uh, Barnes & Noble uh, exclusive. Um, you should know by now, I love these books. I think they look amazing. They feel amazing. Um, I've always wanted a copy of this book. Uh, it's been a long time since I read it. I'm looking forward to reading this copy. And it's Alexander Dumas, The Count of Monte Cristo. And look at this. Look at this book. I mean, it is gorgeous with the gold leaf pages, the blue, the gold, the red. the inside this is just it's got the ribbon bookmark just an amazing copy of this book and Barnes & Noble has a bunch of these that I'm looking for that that I that I want to get add to my collection uh, they've got one on HP Lovecraft uh, Alice in Wonderland, The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan. Uh, there's just a bunch of them. I have quite a, quite a few of them, but there's still a bunch that I want. There's uh, some Stephen Kings that I also want. Uh, one of the newest ones they just came out with is a version of The Stand. Um, they have another one. It's got like Carrie, uh, Salem's Lot, and The Shining. Um, they're beautiful copies. And they're only 25 bucks. And for a hardback that looks like this, I think that's pretty cheap. Um, I try and buy, uh, buy one, or, one or two a month um, if I can afford it. Uh, if not, then I hold off and you know pick up one later. Uh, the Monte Cristo was a gift from my wife. Uh, that's why I got two this month. I bought the uh, Edgar Allan Poe and then she bought me the uh, Count of Monte Cristo. Um, that's all I got for you guys with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Um, I thank you all for watching, uh, devoting your time to this channel and seeing what I'm doing, what I'm reading, what I think about books. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, read more books.